Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install XBMC MU Station for the original Xbox and go through it and show you what it offers and what it does, etc. First, you want to open your browser and go to XBMC MU Station dot com hit enter then you want to go here and click the latest build wait for it to download it's uh, about 200 and something megabytes it's pretty big but it comes with every emulator that you would want on the original Xbox like all in one all set up perfectly so you don't have to set it up yourself or use individual emulators etc don't need a quick launch don't have to set anything up so once it's done I'll show you how to set it up you're also going to need a an FTP program so you're on your own on that one <laughs> I use flash FXP but uh, it's like a paid version or whatever so there's other FTPs like Smart FTP and uh, FileZilla and stuff like that. So f find one that you can use and then follow this tutorial. All right, extract it here. You can do it this way or right click and go to extract. All right, once it's there, you can close out of this open up your FTP program go to your Xbox IP mine's 2.5 now this is local not not public so you don't have to worry about hiding this go to connect go to E or F wherever you want it I'm gonna put it under emulators because that's what it is doesn't matter where you put it you can put it under apps you can put it under anything you want all right, now where did I put this? <laughs> okay, I know where it is. It's right here. Once you find it, just transfer it over. All right, once it's done, go on your original Xbox. All right, once you're on your Xbox, go to well, you can go to File Explorer or you can go to Emulators, and then if it's not there, press Start. Go to refresh list. Mine's right here. And click A on it. You can go to File Explorer too and go that way and click the default XBE, but whatever works best. Alright, wait for it to load. It says welcome. Just keep pressing A. Uh, set up your screen size, but mine's fine. All right, now it's going to check for updates. Now, uh, since I have ports on my F drive, this is going to show up like immediately. So I'll show you that real quick. This is what it looks like. Just a list here. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and you could just launch the game from here as well. But I'll show you that. Um, with the uh, ROMs. Okay, now go under here, go to Downloader. You want to make sure you get this uh, script. Go to Yes. It'll download a script that you'll need to download stuff from their store. Okay. Once it's done, it'll show this. And here you can download applications, artwork for this uh, emulator, front end, dashboards, DLC, emulators. It comes with emulators, but these are extra uh, emulators that you can install. This uh, program doesn't come with every emulator, uh, which is why I think these are separate. I'm not really sure. I don't know much, but <laughs> oh well. You got homebrew, mods, other, themes, and updates. Here you can update to the latest uh, builds. 
of MU Station. It'll do it automatically. I don't have to do any manual uh, labor. <laughs> you can even get the latest test build. But uh, I'm going to show you how to set this up, the simulator up. So what you want to do, go back. Now, on your PC, all right, once you're on the PC, find your, the location where your program is. Mine's under E Emulators. And go to Emu Station, ROMs. Go down to NES because that's the ROMs I'm transferring. And then over here, you want to highlight them all, obviously. And then hit transfer. The ROMs are done. Head back to the Xbox. Now, as you can see, the Xbox won't know that they're there, so press start. Go to go to other settings. Go to, you can go to auto scan or update selected system if you want just one system and you don't want it to take forever, which it doesn't really, but you know it's up to you. So I'm going to go to auto scan. Would you like to auto scan your ROMs? Yes. Now, even though it says do you want to auto scan it. If you restart the program, it's not going to find it. So the auto scan isn't like that. The auto scan is just a one time thing. So keep that in mind. Do you want to use the names stored in the synopsis file instead of the ROM's file names? If you select no, ROM file names will be used. So this comes with a bunch of text files that have ROM names. So if your name, if your ROM is like some obscure, uh, ROM and it has like weird names or you don't know what the heck it is but uh, you know whatever you want it to look nice go to yes uh, do you want to use resource folders for art now I'm going to put no because uh, I have a stock hard drive and I don't want a bunch of art work files so I'm going to go to no uh, selecting yes will update any artwork that differs okay no again it's checking for the synopsis files. It extracts uh, zips on your hard drive with a bunch of text files in them. And that's what uh, it's going to rename all your ROMs to. So let it do its thing. Alright, once it's complete, press B. Back out, and there you go. There it is. NES, 230 games available. Press A on it. And look at this list of ROMs. They have beautiful names and everything. You don't have to worry about uh, weird looking names and different things like that. So you'll, you'll know what it is and how it should be named and stuff. Now if you want your artwork to uh, show up as well as text to say what the names are of or not the names but of the like description of what the game is and stuff go to UI settings go to home go to UI settings go to view mode and turn it to detailed then press B B now go to NES or ports or whatever else and now look you have a uh, description to your bottom left. Your artwork would go on the left, and then it says, you know, the release, developer, publisher, genre, etc. Now, once you have uh, all of it set up to your liking, um, you want to pick a ROM, obviously, <laughs> just to show you, how, like, it's instant instant uh, emulation. You just download the program and you click A on the game after it's all done sorted and look. There it is. Super Mario Brothers 3.
and then to go back right click on thumbstick this is where you get your options and stuff of uh, in the emulator not the emu station and then go to exit game to go back to emu station now if you want a different background uh, go to options go to downloader and here you'll find a bunch of themes for your dashboard uh, you can press A on it and go to install or whatever but I'm just gonna keep the default look and like I said before there's other stuff here if you want some ports and stuff of homebrew games and emulators if if your ROM doesn't start check here for uh, the additional emulators um, because there's some that are included and some that aren't but uh, for the most part that's pretty much it if you want to find your applications as well you can go to applications this is your Xbox applications this is what I have uh, installed right now so same thing you just press A on it and it will go right to it but uh, that's gonna be it for this tutorial thanks for watching guys I know it was a bit long and kinda went nowhere I'm sorry for that but uh, that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoy this uh, program it was made by Rocky 5 and I'm sure others helped him um, I thought it was just a cool piece of software that uh, I didn't know about and I've had the Xbox for like 14 years so I was definitely out of the loop when it comes to emulation on the original Xbox but uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time Peace.